We're lacking though right now, aren't we? We really need some more damage spells here in this bitch. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! What is going on? This is insanity! <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god! Hey, how's it going? I noticed something about myself. I became like Ike in that one South Park episode where they don't actually play games anymore. They just watch someone else play games. And I pretty much do that. With the exception, I play some bullshit life service game like currently World of Warcraft. And then I watch someone else play actual games. And I decided I don't want to do that anymore. And Asmongold booted up a game called Death Must Die. So I did the right thing, I closed his stream, I closed World of Warcraft, I bought Death Must Die and I had a great time. Now I don't know if that genre has a name yet, but it's pretty much a vampire survivors like and I think it gets it just right. I've been playing a few of those every now and then, like there is some weird anime waifu one uh, then there's like a ton of cash grabs on the app store on the mobile game market and then there's death must die and the great thing about death must die is it it kind of mixes the genre with an arpg which is i think exactly where it needs to be that means you're actually dropping some loot and you can collect that loot and you can equip that loot to your different characters and that's what for me is the addictive gameplay loop right here. Now I played through it once. It is an early access, so there's only one map with one final boss. And then you can increase the difficulty for better drops. And I think in the next patch there will be the next tier, which means the next map, more difficulty, which will also have better items. So you could probably now gear yourself for the next big patch. And that's what I'm going to do. The way the uh, level up system works in this game is combined with its, its narrative structure which is that you will be given an option of three skills however the three skills are always of the same god meaning there are different gods and the narrative structure is in a way I don't really understand what triggers new uh, dialogue but it's like okay now you have option of the daughter of death which are death related skills some necromancy here and there some summoning and she will say a little bit of something and maybe mention another god and the next time you get the god she mentioned and he will respond to that or like you they are basically always communicating through you and telling their piece of what they have to say about the other one they find each other creepy whatever there is going on i actually didn't understand much of it yet i think it's very unfinished but I think this is another cool step that this game could go with unlocking or like patching new story elements to the game, creating a lore, creating interesting characters that follow you while you are just getting that dopamine hit off leveling up and getting new skills. The lifesteal thing. Lake oh! On the God of Lightning at your service. Why is he hotter Strange. than the girls? This opening usually shocks mortals at least a little. Some have beat me to it, right? Unbefitting of a god to be unpunctual, especially one such as myself. You can, if you get, for example, the uh, Daughter of Death, as mentioned, you can re-roll her depending on your equipment. Your equipment can have re-roll options and you can even banish skills of certain gods or you can get new skills of the same god so you are not completely bound by what you've given as a choice but there is only so many rerolls you can equip or well depending on your gear how good your gear is i guess now it took me about four hours to play through the first act for the first time but i kind of want to equip all the characters i will probably though play with my barbarian who i like the most because he really felt as you might see in the sequence at the start like a whirlwind barbarian in well Path of Exile, I guess, or maybe Diablo, but let's talk. <laughs> let's rather talk about Path of Exile whenever we're talking about something positive in the ARPG genre. This game is not for graphic enthusiasts, or as I like to call them, graphic horse. 
the game pretty much looks, in my opinion, like Diablo 2. It really reminds me of Diablo 2. Like the skeletons moving around reminds me of the Necromancer in Diablo 2. Uh, the, the art style reminds me of it. The characters are rather nice. They are like comic book characters, slightly pixelated, but their design is pretty cool. I think some of them have a pretty unique design. So that's pretty good. But as I said, it's not, it, it's not for people who enjoy graphics. It follows the vampire survivors rather low graphics kind of situation. The game is currently priced at 6 euro 20, which is pretty good, probably $6.20 depending on where you are. And the reviews are overwhelmingly positive. 95% of 5,000 US reviewed it positively in the last 30 days. Now this comment kind of like resonated with me. I have gotten more meaningful playtime, entertainment and fun out of Death Must Die than I have through the entirety of Diablo 4. Uh, me personally, Diablo 4 was probably my big miss buy of 2023. I was very interested in the game. Um, I was hoping because it had a very, it was very well received when it came out. So I kind of bought it like a few days after release. And for me, I was utterly disappointed because mainly I hate when the zone levels up with you. I hit my ultimate and since I and after I hit my ultimate in Diablo 4, I got pro progressively weaker. And that's not what you want to do when you play an ARPG. And that's what Death Must Die does excellent. When you're leveling up, you are getting stronger. You really are. You have to obviously choose the right skills and the balance, in my opinion, what I can say from this four hours of gameplay is not very good just yet. I would say there's definitely obvious skills that are better than others. So we could definitely, there could be some tweaking that I would like. However, you never know what combination of skills might turn out being pretty epic that you just don't know about yet. So me personally, I don't, I cannot really judge it yet. Even though I just said that some seem stronger than others, there are a few where I'm like, yeah, that's very unlikely that that skill is gonna outshine the other one ever. But hey, anyone can prove me wrong, which is something I wanna do in the future myself. I wanna think of builds and maybe, yeah, have fun combining a few gods with each other, combining a few skills and see where it leads. That's, a, I think, a beauty of a game like Death Must Die. The replayability is huge, especially with the extra incentive of hiring the difficulty, getting better drops, and getting stronger and stronger in the progress, which is really what I personally like about ARPGs. I love playing a game, getting to Act 3 or whatever, and then being really strong and then being like, yeah, I'm gonna go back to Act 2 and farm the shit out of the first zone just for fun, just to feel powerful. It's that's really what I like about RPGs, and that's how it works. Even though it is roguelike, meaning you start at level one every time you go into the next game, you will bring the equipment you farmed. You can use the barbarian, who is already really strong, really equipped, go into the map, collect maybe a few amulets or whatever that everyone can wear, put that in the box, and work with a new character. And so there's you, you don't completely start from scratch, which is fun, you get stronger. And obviously, if you build it right, if you hit the right spells, by the end of it, you are going nuts, just like I did in the first one. That was like the first time I really had a combination of stuff that worked perfectly, and fuck was that satisfying. I had a really good time. Now, if, if you're someone who is really interested in gameplay, uh, I will be in the comment linking below, also in the description. I just upload my entire play sessions. I always was like, okay, now I did this. I have 40 minutes time. Let's play a little bit, record it myself. And I cut it all together for like a three and a half hour video or something. Link below. Gameplay if you're hungover from New Year's. <laughs> Probably put that on and play the game yourself at the same time. That's what I most of the time do. Like I like to watch someone play while playing myself. And well, if you enjoyed, let me know in uh, the comments below. I would definitely like to know if I convinced you to give this game a try or if uh, you already played it. Also, if there's any other game, let me know. There's two things I definitely want to play before I have to go back to work from the winter pause. And that is uh, there is an Among Us update in uh, Vampire Survivors. 
then uh, there i bought the super mario rpg and i'm probably gonna make a little video about that as well so definitely hit me up with other things uh, that you would want me to play there's a bunch of stuff that i have to catch up on i still haven't played uh, played red Dead redemption 2 i still haven't played um gta 4 and 5 i still haven't played cyberpunk and i still haven't played any souls game <laughs> any dark souls game so there are a lot of things that i could make maybe cool uh, videos about let me know if you're interested in any of that this is now a channel where i upload whatever the fuck i want i'm not i'm not committing to any bullshit game anymore they most of them just end up sucking and i'd rather find a gem like this game and talk about it a little bit and maybe make a few videos if i get an interesting build or something and that'll be it if that's something for you subscribe if not maybe our path crossed in another way. Goodbye.